Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Wednesday, so it's Watch You Working on Wednesday. Today's the last Watch You Working on Wednesday for this year, <laughs> which is cool. But you know, there'll be one next Wednesday, but that's okay. We won't talk about how close that is. But I can't believe that two days from now, <laughs> I forgot what today was, <laughs> uh, is New Year's. That's so crazy. But anyways, I got a new whip to share with you guys. I just started it right now. <laughs> I was watching... Um, Bridgerton, I think it's Bridgerton, on Netflix. Oh my gosh. It's like a period classic drama, and it's so good so far. I'm on episode three. And oh my gosh, it's so good. <laughs> um, anyways, so can you guess what I'm making by these colors? If I can pick them up. There's a big jumbo red heart, so it's hard to hold. But I'm using red heart, jumbo, <laughs> super saver white, uh, cherry red, and perfect pink. And this is a free pattern, I think, by the Red Heart website. I can't remember. I'll, it'll be linked in the, in the description. But it's for a, um, I mean, Your Inspirations website. But uh, it's for dishcloth, but you can also make a bunch of them and put them together to make a blanket. So that's what I'm going to do for my couch. So I made one square while watching TV today. So this is the perfect pink, white, cherry red. One line of perfect pink and cherry red again. The other ones will be different colors. They'll have some red hearts with a pink background and different color strappings. Anyways, <laughs> uh, I'm not really happy with how big of a hole there is right there. I feel like they should have put more than one triple crochet in that, but uh, I think it, it still looks cute. It's still a heart, and I like this lacy fit. Uh, I would say that this is not a beginner-friendly pattern because this, this part around through here where it makes the lacy bit a square is kind of confusing. <laughs> The way they have it written so i would definitely say you know if you're going to do this in your beginner either take your time and read it very slowly because i you know i don't consider myself an expert but i'm definitely advanced and i had to rip it out and fix it because i messed it up but uh so there's one square the pattern says to make nine to make a throw but i feel like that would be really small it's like a baby blanket so i think i might make more than that <laughs> i might make let's see here maybe a four by four so what would that be, 16? I'm gonna make 16 of them and then put a border on it and maybe that'll make a good size couch blanket. <laughs> Cause that's what I'm wanting to do. I want to make a Valentine's Day couch blanket to throw on my couch. Now, will I have this done before Valentine's Day? Who knows? <laughs> maybe, this this one works out quick. But if I'm making 16 of them and then throwing them together and then putting a border on it, <laughs> it might not be done before this Valentine's Day. But you know, there's plenty of Valentine's days ahead. So but yeah, so this is the first one. The other ones will be in different color orders. And, uh, yeah, so that's what I'm working on this Wednesday. I just finished this one. It took, uh, well, about an hour to make this because I was watching an episode of that show, and I think they're, like, 40-something minutes long. Um, so that's not bad. I could probably pop, you know, this blanket out in a week if I wanted to because I've done that before with these kinds of little decal blankets. Um, my, my Scandinavian snowflake blanket that I use around Christmas time. Actually, I didn't. I didn't have that out this year. It must be down in a tote somewhere. <laughs> but um, it only took me a week to make. So, but I don't want to rush it either. I'm just going to work on it and see what happens. <laughs> but anyways, let me know in the comments below what you guys are working on this week. And let me know if you're going to do a New Year's Day project. Uh, I might do a little amigurumi or something that day. Because um, I like doing projects on holidays. Quick little projects. And um, so let me know in the comments and leave links or anything if you want to. That's fine. And I will see you guys in the next video, which is tomorrow. Um, what would you do with this yarn? And actually, I still haven't heard from the winner last week. So if I don't hear from her by tomorrow morning, I will be drawing a new winner for um, that yarn. We'll be going back into the rotation of being given away. That's what I'm trying to say. I just losing my train of thought. <laughs> but anyways, uh, so if you haven't watched that video, go back and check it and see if you were the winner. And if you are, uh, hurry up and get a hold of me because you only have until tomorrow morning to claim your prize and then it'll go back into the prize box um, for giveaways in the future. But anyways, I'm going to hop off here so I can go work on this and get Jesse's Play-Doh down. He wants to play with it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.